Welcome to Success Talks with Rodney Salisbury. I hope you will support my sponsors who bring you this podcast absolutely free and with limited interruptions. I really appreciate you taking the time to listen. I'll get started in just a second. The reviews are in. The book from voiceover superstar and coach Rodney Salisbury is another runaway hit. Readers from all over the world are raving about tongue twisters and vocal warm-ups. You can find this and his other titles at the top of the voiceover bestsellers list on Amazon. Aretha Franklin. Aretha Louise Franklin was born March 25, 1942. She was an American singer, songwriter, actress, pianist, and civil rights activist. Franklin began her career as a child singing gospel at New Bethel Baptist Church in Detroit, Michigan, where her father, C.L. Franklin, was a minister. At the age of 18, she embarked on a secular music career as a recording artist for Columbia Records, and while Franklin's career did not immediately flourish, she found acclaim and commercial success after signing with Atlantic Records in 1966. Are you looking for expert advice on advancing your voiceover career? Are you just getting started in the business? Join the Consultants Club and receive monthly coaching on how to read scripts, interpret copy, and get work in the fastest growing business in the world. When you join the Consultants Club, go to RodneySalsbury.com and sign up. Hit songs such as I Never Loved a Man the Way I Love You, Respect, you Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman, Chain of Fools, Think, and I Say a Little Prayer propelled her past her musical peers. And by the end of the 1960s, Aretha Franklin had come to be known as the Queen of Soul. Franklin continued to record acclaimed albums such as I Never Loved a Man the Way I Love You in 1967, Lady Soul in 1968, Spirit in the Dark in 1970, Young Gifted in Black in 1972, and Amazing Grace in 1972, and Sparkle in 1976. After a while, she started to experience problems with her record company. So Franklin left Atlantic in 1979 and signed with Arista Records. Hello everyone, this is Sean Daly for DailyVO.com. I want to tell you about one resource I highly recommend for vocal warm-ups because it takes out all of the guesswork and it was purpose-built with voiceover in mind. It's called Rodney Salisbury's Tongue Twisters and Vocal Warm-Ups with Other Vocal Care Tips. How's that for a title? So in case you don't know, Rodney Salisbury is a top-tier talent and coach, motivational speaker, and author of several books on voice acting including You Can Bank on Your Voice and Step Up to the Mic. The book is available in print and on Kindle, and you can find it at Amazon or Rodney's personal website, rodneysalsbury.com. Aretha was also an actress. She appeared in the 1980 film The Blues Brothers before releasing the successful albums Jump To It in 1982, Who's Zoomin' Who in 1985, and Aretha in 1986 on the Arista label. In 1998, Franklin returned to the top 40 with the Lauryn Hill produced song, A Rose is Still a Rose. Later, she released an album of the same name, which was certified gold. And we'll be back after this message. Baby, come give me something. You can bank on your voice, second edition. Get your copy at Amazon.com. Get the audiobook on Audible.com. You can bank on your voice, second edition. Get your copy today. Let's talk a little bit about her chart activity. Franklin recorded 112 charted singles on Billboard, including 77 Hot 100 entries, 17 Top 10 pop singles, 100 R&B entries, and 20 number one R&B singles. Graylin Brown, the new novel by Rodney Salisbury. It's the heartwarming story about a family in Detroit. The Motown sound was alive and well. The Philly soul sound 
was alive and well, and the big three automakers were making wonderful cars every day. Graylin Brown, the novel. Get your copy at Amazon.com or wherever books are sold. Franklin's well-known hits also include Ain't No Way, Call Me, Don't Play That Song, Spanish Harlem, Rock Steady, Daydreaming, Until You Come Back to Me, Something He Can Feel, Jump To It, Freeway of Love, Who's Zooming Who, and I Knew You Were Waiting For Me, a duet with George Michael. She won 18 Grammy Awards, including the first eight awards given for Best Female R&B Vocal Performance. This was between 1968 and 1975. Franklin is one of the best-selling music artists of all time, having sold more than 75 million records worldwide. And she's also received numerous honors throughout her career. She became the first female performer to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. She also was inducted into the UK Music Hall of Fame in 2005 and into the Gospel Music Hall of Fame in 2012. In 2010, Rolling Stone magazine ranked her number one on its list of the 100 greatest singers of all time and number nine on its list of 100 greatest artists of all time. Unfortunately, Aretha Franklin passed away in 2018. And we here at Success Talks are proud to celebrate the outstanding career of the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin. You can listen to any of Rodney's podcasts at any time. Go to RodneySalisbury.com. I hope you enjoyed this podcast, and I urge you to listen to future podcasts where I will continue to try and make you better than before. My goal is to point you in a positive direction to success right here on Success Talks with me, Rodney Salisbury. Change my way.